Now today we're gonna to give you our full and honest review of the Skylight calendar. Now we fell in love with Skylight when we got my parents a Skylight frame, which is a digital picture frame, which updates via Wi-Fi, and they loved it. We saw they now offer a calendar, which is a no frills calendar, which can also be used as a frame, by the way, and we had to try it out. We were always wondering, hey, do the kids have school today? Who has dance, who has whatever lesson? And so we decided to get our hands on the Skylight calendar and want to bring you our honest review you want to know if it's right for you, keep on watching to find out more. Now, the Skylight calendar displays your family events on a simple touchscreen device. Now, if you're anything like us, you use different calendars for different things. We found that you can use just one calendar. We use a Gmail calendar to sync all of our personal stuff to. And it makes it really easy in the Skylight app to add different calendars. So here's our frame. We have one frame for our parents and we have one frame for us. And so ours is actually this one. Oh yeah, here it is. This is our calendars. That's what it is. So you click this and it shows you your calendars. It also shows you which calendars you want to sync. I have three calendars, holidays in the United States, Japan and Gmail, which is where we put all of our stuff. And then you can also add your favorite football teams, basketball teams, baseball teams. Mine is obviously the Frogs, Go Frogs. And you can easily show them. I mean, it shows up almost instantaneously within the frame as soon as you put it on your calendar. I also use TripIt, which I highly recommend for anyone that is traveling to show anything like travel, it automatically shows up. We're going to Disneyland here next week and it shows our information there. I had my parents come in town last week, and so it showed, let's see here. So it showed their trips, oops, the week. It showed their trips, one more week. Show their trips from Portland here. Really easy to follow, really easy to use. Has a couple different views. If you have a lot of things going on each day, it can show you your, your full day. I obviously only had a haircut today. Your week, which we usually have it on our week view. We have a month view. Shows you everything you have going on for the month. And the schedule, which is more of like a, here's what's going on right now, but in a daily view. Shows you one, two, three, four, five, six days. Also going to show you today if you want that. It'll jump to today if you are on a different date. But we usually like to have it on the week view just to see what's coming up for the week, see what's happening. And we really like it. It works really well. It's no frills. It's really easy to set up. You just simply tell it what calendars you want it to sync. And it took me probably like five, 10 minutes to, to set this up. If you want to add more, more calendars to your calendar, you simply can hit this calendar button hit sync to an external calendar. It's really easy. You simply select which calendar you'd like it to sync to. So let's say I have a Gmail calendar. I enter the address and it pulls up all the information right away and allows you to sync it. And literally takes just a couple of seconds. You can also sync individual events by using your unique email to add someone to that event. So let's say you have a work calendar and you wanna make sure your family knows about that this particular work event for whatever reason, you can simply add this email address, just like you send emails with pictures on them to a frame, you can do the same thing with the calendar invite and it will show up on your calendar, which is pretty cool. Now, what else can this do? It can also serve as a photo frame too. Just like the frame from Skylight, you can use this to send photos to. It's really easy to do. Um, you simply use it to send your email address to you add on the app. You can actually add photos to it as well. I'll show you here. Simply add a photo by hitting pick one from a uh, gallery. I have no idea it's on my son's iPad here. I'm sure it's very helpful. But if I want to add this Pikachu to it for whatever reason, I can add that Pikachu to it and put it to my frames. And I've got now these two pictures 
on my frames. We tend to have it just show us our calendar because we don't want to have to touch a button to see what's going on. But if you do want it to, you can hit this button. And whoops, hit the settings button, settings. And you can say photo screen saver on. And you can hit save. And then it will start showing the photos just like it does on the actual skylight frame. Now here's what we love about the skylight frame. The thing we love the most about it is it's really easy just to sync one calendar and get everything added at a glance. It's really easy to use. You don't actually even need to touch the screen for it to show you what's going on. If you've got a lot of things going on, you use a day view. Less, less things going on, you use a week view. If you just want to see what does my month look like, you can see that. Or you can look at the schedule view, which we like that view too, if there's a lot of things going on over a couple of days. A super pro tip, add the Google Calendar stuff that says like um, uh, uh, holidays or for your favorite sports team, so you don't have to remember, hey, when is my um, favorite team playing? Now TCU is not in the playoffs or bowl games or anything else like that, so I'll show you what it looks like. It's actually pretty cool. It's loading, loading, loading. Yeah, here's like a Horn Frog game. So Horn Frog game, Red Raiders, and it will update at the exact time that the game is happening too, as the game time changes as well, which that's just super awesome. No one has to ever wonder, hey, when is a TCU game this weekend? It's pretty cool. Now, a couple of things that we don't care for with this device, it is less expensive, and of course, you get what you pay for with any device. Now, the touchscreen is just not gonna be an iPad touchscreen. I, 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 it's nothing wrong with it whatsoever, especially if you're looking at your schedule for what you're gonna do that, that day or week or month. It's just not gonna be an amazing touchscreen experience, but honestly, you don't want to be touching the screen a whole lot. And that would mean that you are, you know, having to go in and change things, whatever. Uh, yeah, you don't want to do that. You want to make sure that this can work exactly the way you want it to without having to touch a thing, without having to give it any voice commands. It is a fairly small size. Now I will show you this as it compares to my son's iPad. I have this pulled up to help uh, me cheat a little bit here off the side, but it is, you know, about the size of a, of a full size iPad. Maybe it's a little bit smaller. Got this rigged case on it because I'll make sure they don't they don't ruin it. But it is a decent size, about the same size as an iPad. It is a lot, uh, excuse me, it is a lot smaller than the Amazon Echo Show 10, which is humongous. Let's see if I can put this behind here so you can get a little better effect of that. Yeah, it is huge. I mean, this thing is yeah, it's so big. So it's huge. Um, so. This actually sits in front of our A word, the A-L-E-X-A, -E can't say it because it'll set it off, but it sits in front of that. And it's a really nice, simple, looks good device. Their customer support is really good. I had a problem with it. Actually, when I first got it, it wouldn't plug in. Um, it's basically just an Android tablet. They put some custom software on. It's got a nice, elegant little frame. You can also mount it to the wall if you wanted to. It has a couple buttons, but once again, you don't need to touch it which is the beauty of the Skylight frame. We have some Google Nest home devices around the house. And frankly, we use this because we can see it, we don't touch buttons, and that's what we're looking for. If you want something that can do more, like show you TV shows, then maybe check out something like the Amazon Echo Show 15. This can do a couple of extra things. Like I said, it can show you the photos. We don't actually usually have that set on. Let's actually change it so we don't forget. Um, before we go to bed here. Uh, you can do things like add some things to your grocery list, which once again, we never really do because it's not super convenient. You can add an event directly from here. You can head, add an event to add it on February 4th, for example. Pick what category it's in. That's nice and, and easy to do from there. Obviously the touchscreen is not awesome, like I said. A little bit slow to come up there, once again. If you're just looking for something that shows you the calendar in a really nice and easy to understand way, then check out the Skylight Frame. You honestly will not be disappointed. If you want something with more bells and whistles, this, like I said, this 
almost instantly syncs with whatever you're doing, which is awesome. But that's all it does. And it can save you a couple hundred bucks or about 150 bucks if you want something more complicated like the Amazon Echo Show. But check it out. If you have any questions or comments about this, please let us know. We also have our full review of the Amazon Echo Show and the Skylight Frame for you to check out. We'll put a links below and in the card section here. But let's know if you have any questions or comments and we hope to see you again real soon.